anyway, let's get straight to radio blog. So what, what are you blogging about this morning? Like some days ago in Madrid, on I was about to get on a on a train, and then this guy came from nowhere with his mask on. Thank God. <laughs> and it was like, hello. <laughs> That he likes me, that he has been looking at me when I bought the ticket. Okay. That, oh, that I would like me to have his that I would like to have my number. Okay. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> and then the train opened and I got in the got on. And the this guy followed me to where I was sitting down. I was like, oh okay. No. Like, I just wanted it was late. I just wanted to have him come right home like back to where i'm going to and this guy continued talking and i was asking i was like oh my god i said i'm not interested he said i live close by here i'm just new here just telling me stories i said sorry i don't even live here like i'm just visiting mm. he was like it doesn't matter he was just begging and begging for my number and wow it was just oh my god and the guy was like yeah this is embarrassing for you i know but it's also embarrassing for me as well i'm like (laughs) it's not embarrassing for you because uh, unless you would stop because you're embarrassing me like i was just like oh my god what am i going to do i have 30 minutes right how am i going to escape from this guy because (laughs) i knew that if i moved my seat he would follow me (laughs) so i was like (laughs) I just do, I didn't know what to do. Like I didn't know what to do. And the guy told me that oh he stop is in three. Like he, the next three stops he was okay. going to get down. I was like oh my god, thank god. <laughs> and he continued persisting and all. And I just decided I don't know. I think something clicked on my brain that I should just keep quiet. That this guy cannot reason. So right. I just kept quiet. You gave him a silent I treatment. Kept, but, <laughs> yeah, because I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that kind of person. I I try to treat people like human beings. Mm. But I and I mean, if someone's speaking to you, I want to reply, not to do as if you're invisible. But at that point, like when you keep persisting and you are telling me all kind of stuff, and you please, please now, please now, please now. <laughs> I'm like, it's so embarrassing. At some point, I actually thought that I was going to calculate the time that the train was going to open i would just run out and like <laughs> he will follow you i promise you that no 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 <laughs> if i calculate the seconds because it takes like i think three four seconds so i would just have to rush out and yeah that went through my head like i said i i just can't be i prefer waiting another 10 minutes for the next train and just get down <laughs> like but finally it got down i did the silent treatment and but I would like to know, like, what people, like, what, what can you do in this circumstance? Imagine the guy was not going to drop in the next. The guy who told me, "God bless you," like, I'm like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, I st- <laughs> you know the funny thing, Mofe. Yeah. Uh, so I, I watched yeah. this, um, this skit on Instagram a while ago, and and what yeah. the the message the skit was trying to pass was the fact that stalking is actually a way of um harassment as well so yeah i mean if, if you think you you are not one who you don't you don't like it it's a, it's a type of abuse basically right if you just yes. maybe you, you meet a girl on the road and you ask her for you know pleasantly for stuff and she she says she's not going to give you a number and you follow her you stalk her you follow her to where she's going to and she doesn't want it it is actually a form of abuse and a lot of people don't know that and i think even guys don't know it as well they should start knowing (laughs) it's not by force like it was so embarrassing and annoying okay so tell me tell me tell me mofe yeah if a guy sees you um yeah and like kind of likes you and wants to get to meet you how do you think the guy should or can go about it definitely not harassing me like i don't know like you can even still ask for facebook or oh, i mean if i'm in very good mood i might right. even give you my facebook right but not even my phone like for me that's personal my and i don't know you from heaven from anywhere <laughs> for every sake like dude and the approach was not right like right. i just feel that you have to know how to approach someone how you speak 
and this dude knew what he was doing he knew i was embarrassed he knew that and he, con- was and he continued and he didn't care yeah so that i mean i don't know what his goal or objective was but it wasn't the right one let, let me let so, me let me I flip mean, it's not my first. Let, let me add another another side to the story so let's assume in the train there yeah while he was doing that another guy just steps up and says yo guy she says she doesn't want to give you her number can you leave her alone how would you feel <laughs> Oh, I would feel so happy. Yeah, I've had some encounters like that, like when some crazy guys just come over this one doing funny things and then the guy would just step up and but that doesn't mean I'm gonna give him my number. That's the other guy, yeah. Right <laughs> <What's> the, yeah. <laughs> he stepped up and made me happy and saved me. All right. That's all. I would just say, Oh, thank you and move. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, though. Thank you so much for sharing your radio blog with us. Um, for the ladies listening to the show, we want to hear your thoughts as well. What would you do or how would you react to a guy who persistently, a random guy, persistently asks for your number and he and isn't taking no for an answer? What is the best way to Even go about that? Even if it's COVID, my goodness. She, yeah. like, <laughs> can you socially distance yourself from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god at some point it came so freaking close i was like wait it's rude. like this is covid for i don't even please move <laughs> thank Mew. you god bless you <laughs> <laughs> thanks so no, much really, I, yeah. I i just i would like to know like if like if this guy like imagine you were going because it was a 30 minutes it was like yeah. he kept on like for close to 20 minutes wow and, like imagine if he, he actually followed and what would you have like how would i have escaped that like how would you have escaped that because it just gave me thinking that keep this guy yeah because <laughs> like, because it was actually it was guy? actually alighting at the same place where you were if you guys were alighting at the same stop he could come no, down no we weren't yeah exactly if, if he, yeah if, yeah, he, if he, was, he was yeah. you guys would come down together and he probably would keep following you Voila. Oh <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, but thank you so much for sharing this with us. Uh, it's quite something to think about. And hey, guys, share your thoughts with us as well. Thank you so much, Mofem. Have a lovely, lovely week ahead. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Uh, bye now. Bye. <laughs> oh, my man. Toasting levels. Toasting, toasting levels. Hey, come on, babe. Now, can I have your number? You know. Uh, I was reading the Bible this morning and um, I was reading the book of Numbers. Can you give me your number? <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, my Lord. PraiseWorldRadio.com.